right to emphasize the right to No, no, my point is they are the main regardless of if they draw Is it major? No, no. So why is it major? When you say they're major, according to the Christians, we can't take that as a serious. No, we can't take them That's a different question. That's what I'm saying. No, it is called the Book of Isaiah. Yeah. Yes. Like for example, you know there are many books written by, for example, Moses. Yeah. Moses didn't write his own eulogy, right? Yeah. He basically how he died, where he was buried, so on. Even though it's mentioned in Deuteronomy, yes, it's called the Book of among the Book of Moses. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying that just because it's called Book of Isaiah doesn't necessarily mean it. Torah no, encompasses a lot of these books. Like I said, we, the Quran comes with the Torah. It's not just five books. Yeah, yeah, I know that. It encompasses all of the other writings and so on. This guy needs a bit of knowledge. This is even the concept, even the concept of the Jewish people. When they say the Torah, Torah can be bigger than the five books. Yes. Okay. There's a narrow definition of Torah, which is the first five books. This is according to the Jews, yeah? And there is a broader definition, which is basically every book, every law of the of Judaism, which is called the Torah. Okay, wait, hold on. So talking about you, you said that there, there were many prophets sent to different places, right? Yeah. So then how comes here, yeah, other than the your first few prophets, from Abraham going, is there anyone other than Ishmael, which is one, and Muhammad, which is two, is there any other person who's from a different nation? Yeah, sure, Abraham, it's from it's from, it's from the tribe of uh, Midian, Midian which, is, which is not Jews. Who's that? You know the Midianites? Yeah, the, yeah, Midianites. the Midianites. So he's, 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 from, he's from the Midianites, Shuaib There are many Arabian prophets which are not in the Bible. No, but I'm talking about major than not. He's I'm one talking. of the major prophets, see, The Quran identifies to the Jewish people the history that they consider to be most important. Musa al -Islam, Ibrahim al -Islam, right? The Quran shows the earliest ways of the prophets, people, how they were misled by their own making. So Quran identifies them and says, you come back to, to Allah, come back to this messenger, which was already mentioned in, the, in your books. So it doesn't have to then name every single prophet and no, every single saying, thing, I'm not saying it needs major or minor. Uh, I, I'm not saying it needs to name them, but I'm just saying that, you know, why can't it name a couple of the you're trying to, outside? You're, you're trying to identify the non-Jewish prophet, is that right? Yes. That's okay. What, I'm to do. what is the significance of that question? The significance is, I, it's like a lot of it, it tends to draw yeah. to so, the so whom does So whom does God send more messengers to? The people who were not accepting him or the people who were accepting him? What, so you're telling what me is the, logical? So what you're is telling the logical? me the other people accepted him all around? No, the Jewish people were, were basically, even Jesus says they were hard, their hearts were hardened, hardened and they killed many, uh, many prophets. It says so in but the they Bible. Were only Jews and Christians. No, no, it's, it's, it says so in the Bible that they kill many prophets. But there were only Jews and Christians and uh, Jews as a race. Christian. There were no Christian prophets. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> Christian. Christian people. Okay. There were Christians and Jews at that time. You're talking about from where the about, the about No, no, Jews. I'm talking about Jesus Christians saying this. Jews. Jesus about saying that they kill prophets. Jesus yeah, yeah. saying the Jews kill the prophets. Yeah, so it's I not remember. just Muhammad, it's also Jesus saying this. Yeah, of course, but don't And they had been sent many of the prophets. That's true. They have been sent more prophets than anyone else. The only difference is it's from the Jew. Like Jesus is only talking about the Jews. There's no problem. That's because Jews he came only for the Jews. Yeah. He's Jew himself. Then, then later on it says at the end that Well, that's that's the that's open to interpretation. Because when he says go and preach to every nation, yeah. okay, we consider that to be the nations of the, the tribes of Israel. Exactly. That doesn't make sense. Why not? So you're telling me it says go and preach it everywhere. Were they nation, not were they the not nation. dispersed everywhere? The twelve tribes? So you're telling me Jesus. No, no, were they dispersed everywhere? No, no, they were dispersed. Exactly. So, so why is you, say, when he says go and uh, preach to every nation, so, preach to the Jews in every nation. What's wrong with that? So you're, this is what I'm saying, you're telling me that Jesus on that last part, you're saying that the nation part just meant only the Jews. Yeah, that's he always made that's from the very right. inception, he says, I've not come except for the lost sheep yeah. of Israel. Okay. Why did he say that? If he was going to later on change his stance, why? Let's not get into that because we're going to get to... No, that's the crucial that's the key no, no, point, no, 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 man. We cannot avoid this. Exactly. This is the crux of the matter. I, I, I already know where this is going to go. No, it's not about that. No, 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 it's not about that. You, can, about not, you cannot avoid this. If somebody comes along on planet Earth, who happens to be God, and he comes down as a man, and he says, by the way, I'm sorry, uh, I didn't come for you. Um, he comes like, I, I'm, I didn't come from him. He only says, I only came for a specific group of people. No, no, you haven't got it yet. If 
a god comes down from heaven and says, I only came from a particular group of people, then his mission is limited and to his people. And then I'm going to say at that time, and the, at the reason What do you mean at that time? He never said at that time. At, he no, never said that. Yes, but he never said, that. He he never said that, but, but what? Use a logical sense. Why are you assuming it? No, 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 use a logical no, sense. If what? he's saying that I came from the lost sheep of Israel, then later on, then say go out to all nations. I just told you about the different nations. Yes, and that's The Jews were in diaspora. They were everywhere. Yeah, and I said, this is why there's no point to come out. So this one verse. Where this is going to go. This one verse. Now somehow you're saying it's opened up a mission. In his own ministry. How many non-Jews did he go to? Tell me. No. In fact, he, he should have demonstrated. He should have demonstrated he, he, at the end of his mission that his mission is to all not to go to the Gentiles. Dogs, dogs, dogs the the no, 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 no. How many years of his ministry was? Three years. Three years. Within these three years, okay, 365 not, times three days, right? Okay, right? How many non-Jew people was he preaching to? No. He's only preaching to no. Jews. If his mission was for everyone, why is he only limited to the Jewish people? That is why he says go to the nations. Oh. Are after you guys listening? Instead of, <laughs> instead of, oh, I'm not kidding. Listen, 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 instead of Jesus telling the people, directly guiding them, you're saying, by the way, I'm going to leave it unto you. You preach to all nations. That is illogical. If he was Why there for, listen, if he was there for three years, yeah. and within these three years, he's interacting with non-Jews, right. the Romans, the no, Greeks, the pagans, and so on. He shouldn't say, I'm sorry, guys, I didn't come to you. Why this film feel like two reasons only? Are you, I think you're, 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 you're you ignoring the fundamental reason. You need to contextualize. No, no, but you're ignoring you the fundamental reason. Okay, let's contextualize. Let's say you are Jesus, right? You are Jesus. 2,000 years ago, you've come down to Britain. And guess what? In London, they are not only English people. Do I look like English? I'm not English. And when I say, okay, fine, what guidance do you have for me? And you just finish it like that. I keep on saying, what guidance do you have for me? What do I have to do? What do I have to do? You know, you know, what do I have to do to be saved and so on? You don't say anything. Because of my persistence... And he calls them dogs as well. Because of my persistence, <laughs> these friends of mine say, you know, Jesus, answer him. Then you say to me, after this, I didn't come for you. I only came for the the English people only. My, I said, persisting begging. Oh, by the way, but you know, okay, my, uh, I need the guidance. He said, it is not right for me to give you the guidance, you said. And, 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 follow through. You then say, it is not right for me. I have no right to give you the guidance. But I said, but still, you know, you know, you make an exception. You can guide me. He says, no, I cannot. Um, I only, you know, I only can for the English people. Well, you, you're a dog because you, you, you are not English, right? But I said, look, even a dog eats from the master stable, the crumbs that falls on it. After this, he said, okay, right, because you're so much persistent in your faith that I can, you can give me guidance. He said, okay, right, I'll guide you. What would that tell the whole people? That you came for the Pakistanis and the Indians? Or did you only come for the British? I understand. No, no, you don't understand my examples. Would it mean you came for the whole people? Everyone? At that time, no, it wouldn't mean. What do you mean at that time? Did he say? Can I explain? Okay, did he say at that time? No, he didn't. Yeah, so why are you restricting it then? Because I'm telling you at yeah, that yeah. point, what you're going to hear, if you let me explain, it's like I can't explain it to you. Okay, wait, 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 and someone needs help. Take not the, first, the first person you, you, you have to help is your family, basically. So um, Jesus came down to help the Jews. That was his thing. And then later on, after all this has happened, then Jesus um, dies and resurrects him. Obviously, you don't believe that. But at the end, he says, go out to all nations. All That's nations. That's disputed point. If that verse wasn't there. Okay. That's exactly why I was trying to Try to understand. To said, if that verse wasn't there, what yeah. would you say about his mission? Then you would say that he's, it's most likely he only came to Jews. Ah, exactly. So this is a disputed packing. That's why all the scholars, or not all, many of the scholars say this is an addition. 
in this book of, of whoever wrote it in Matthew right. not. So, we don't so why did they say that? Because throughout fact. his ministry, throughout his ministry, he demonstrated. Like if he came down to speak his corner to guide the people, and he only guide what the English, and he say that I only come for the English. Please listen. Did you at any point tell me? Oh, by the way, at this time now, uh, sorry, I cannot help you. He didn't say that. He didn't say to this Canaanite woman, oh, by the way, sorry, um, I can help you later, but not now. Look, your wishful thinking doesn't help. How is that wishful thinking? I'm using the Because Bible. If, if a Canaanite woman came who was a non-Jew, and Jesus' mission was to start with the Jewish people first, she should have, he would have said to this uh, non-Jew woman, by the way, I'm going to start with my brothers first, then I'll come to you. Um, I will guide you, but um, uh, primarily I'm going to start with, he didn't say any of that. In fact, four different ways he said, there's no way I can help you. So why I can come for you. I no, after that, she kept on begging and begging. You know when someone so much begs you and, and holds onto your leg and doesn't go away, what do you do? Do you kick them away? You don't. You, do, you know, you make a compromise. He made a compromise by saying, okay, fine, because if not all that, even though I didn't come for you, because even though I, am, I have no right to guide you, by the way, I will make this an right, exception. You're exaggerating the story slightly, but anyway. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, 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 I know, but... Uh, no, you don't know. He's given an analogy. This is where... He's not exaggerating. He's giving an analogy. You are denying... He's given an analogy, I agree yeah. with that. No, no, no. You are <laughs> denying the context. The context yeah, is so clear. The context is so clear. Give me a Bible. Give me a Bible. You're not a Christian. I'm not a Christian. Okay, cool. Then don't say that. You are denying the context. Look. First of all, he ignores her altogether. He could have said, thank you. Yes. Where is this verse? Oh, uh, Come on. I don't know the verse. From Matthew 15, 22. Matthew 15, 22. Okay. Now we will establish first my verse. Please don't take out context. I am the one who's saying what's the contextual meaning. Christians take it out of context. And Jesus went away, Matthew 15, verse 21. Jesus went away from there and withdrew to the district of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman from that region came out and cried, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely possessed by a demon. But he did not answer her a word. And his disciples came and begged him, saying, Send her away, for she is crying after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. And he answered, It is not fair to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. She said, Yes, Lord, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered her, O woman, great is your faith, be it done for you as you desire. And her daughter was healed instantly. So, slightly a Canaanite, I'm not, slightly I didn't exaggerate anything. I didn't yes, you did. Okay, let's see what it says. I know what the Remember, Bible said, but he I, did exaggerate when he said that, oh, she was begging and healing and blah, blah. Listen, listen, let's go back. First thing, first thing, first thing. He exaggerated I didn't exaggerate anything. Get another translation. Please do. Please do. Why don't you do the housework or homework? Go and read several other translations. It's all there. Now, Jesus was sitting there with his disciples. A non-Jew Canaanite woman came. And she begged him, have mercy on me. My daughter is severely possessed by a demon. I wonder why you didn't see the faith part. Wait, oh, wait, faith. wait. Okay, go on. So now, Jesus is supposed to be God on earth, right? God on earth to guide the people. Not to the Jews only, every human being. Because he didn't only die for the Jewish people. According to your belief, he died for every human being. Right? So this woman comes and says, heal my daughter. Because she has faith that this man can heal. Because she's heard there's a person going around healing people. What is his response? Yeah, of course. I came to heal everyone. That wasn't his response. No. Okay. So what was his response? Why did he God says, not respond like that? He says what? He only came to the sheep of Israel. And what? No. That oh. wasn't his response. He changed his mind after. No, brothers. He didn't change his mind. It's, Listen. Not, it's at the end Excuse of me. what's called. It's at, he only came to send the message to My them. My friend, 
My friend, listen. You know what was his response? Woman's begging. He's ignoring her. He's ignoring. He's begging. Oh, oh Lord, have mercy on me, my That's daughter. That's the part I said. Exactly. The way he's just... Listen, listen. If you read the context, the reply, the second reply, not second reply, the reply of the disciples. It wasn't Jesus responding. So what's the faith part mean? Because I'm just wondering. You know what you're doing? What? You're committing the, 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 the million dollar fallacy. Okay, go on, say your point. Instead of going verse by verse, understanding the okay, million dollars. Okay, go on, go, go say right. the verse, go on, say it. So what's happening is this. Yeah. She keeps on, this is the reality, she keeps on insisting and Jesus is not doing anything. He's not saying anything. He's, he's keeping on, uh, by the way, uh, talking to his disciples. What? He's ignoring this is, her. He ignores her. Cool. Cool. Yeah. He ignores her. Now, she keeps on begging. That's the picture. Imagine the scenario. You are the woman and you're there and Jesus ignores her. You will not just sit there until um, Jesus speaks. You are pestering her. That's why in other translations it's very clear. The disciples, look what they did. And the disciples came and begged him. Why were the disciples begging? They were be begging Jesus and saying, send her away for she's crying after us. So she wasn't just saying once, one time, oh, my Lord, son of David. She was, pester David pestering. She she was pestering. pestering. That was bothering the disciples because Jesus was not saying anything. If Jesus came for the whole world, including Canaanite women, he could have said, you are healed because you have faith in me. He didn't do that. He ignored her. First thing Why is he, he ignored. Your God ignored a woman in need. Now, the disciples get annoyed and agitated because Jesus wasn't answering. So they, they what? They intercepted and they said, oh, Jesus, please do something. Send her away because she's not going. Send her away because she is crying unto us. At that time, now Jesus would have said, who are you talking about, folks? I came for her too. I don't only come for you. I came from the whole world. He didn't say that. Guess what he said? He said, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now, let's understand that. In the house of Israel, you can't accept that though. In the house no, of Israel, let me, let me finish and then you will understand. Because every time, you know, people say, people accuse me of saying, you just keep on saying, let me finish, let me finish. When we are continuing on a passage, Go you shouldn't on. interrupt in the middle. That's why I say this statement, let me finish. Because it is important for you to allow me to continue to finish it. So, here Jesus replies, I didn't come for you. I only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now, one thing the Christians here don't get is this. They think Jesus came for the Jewish people initially, but no, he didn't come for all of the Jewish people. Within the Jewish tribes, there were the good sheep and there were the lost sheep. He didn't come for the good sheep. The good sheep are the guided sheep. They're already there in guidance. He came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He says clearly, the lost sheep. That means within the house of Israel, some sheep were not lost. There were some who were lost, he came for them. And his statement is abundantly clear that he didn't come for the Chinese or the British or the English or the Nigerians or the Sudanese or the Somalis or the Canaanite woman in this context. He clearly tells the woman, now he replies, I didn't come for you. I only have come for a specific group of people. Makes sense. That is his response. God on earth came for everyone. According to your belief, he came for everyone. But he's saying, sorry, I can't help you because I didn't come for you. He didn't say, by the way, um, okay, I didn't come for you now. I'll come for you later. Or uh, my initial mission is to my disciples first, but I'll tell you. So I'm sorry, I have to ignore you. Let the demon really do his demonic activity on your daughter. I can't help you. The daughter is demon possessed and Jesus is saying, sorry, I can't do anything. I'm, even though I'm God on earth, I have the power, but I'm, um, she's not my, 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 my folks, my sheep. Do you, do you realize? Then what does she reply? But she came and knelt before him. Now, this woman didn't just speak, she actually knelt down in desperation, saying, Lord, help me. Now she's saying, help me, kneeling someone. When you kneel to someone, you're showing your humility, that you are weak, you're in need of your assistance. When you kneel down to God or prostrate to God, you're taking yourself, making yourself humble, that God is the one who can listen and hear you. So if you go to a king and you kneel, you consider that king or the queen to be one of authority and power, one of someone who can help you. Yeah? 
So the woman comes and kneels before him. What did Jesus do? Now, third opportunity, or fourth. Jesus says what? It is not fair to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. Now he's making it abundantly clear. Emphasis upon emphasis upon emphasis. Look, the children of Israel, the lost ones, they're the ones that I've come for. They are my... Listen, listen. They are the ones who receive, who are entitled to the bread. Not the dogs, who are the non-Jewish people. So she, he considered her to be a dog, metaphorically. I'm not going to go to the insult group because you know, even that is inappropriate. So he says, look, it's not fair. What did he say? It's not fair. If God was on earth to heal the people, guide everyone, it's not, he's saying what? I'm sorry, it's not fair that I do that. It's not fair that I do that. And you're saying, oh, his mission was for everyone, or even limited that time. He says, it's not fair. Then, she doesn't go away. She still persists and argues back, saying, look, yes, Lord, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. So what she's doing is this, look, even though you've come for these people, and you have metaphorically labeled them as someone having a dinner with the table, having a bread, but when these breads fall, underneath the table the dogs can come and eat them right the waste the waste product the one that is inadvertent people don't willingly put the bread on on, on the ta uh, on the ground do they it is when you're eating some of the breads you know by mistake uh they fall from the table so i'm not preaching i am explaining this to you which you don't understand so may god it. give you the ability to understand so far I'm so may god may god i understand exactly what you okay. say it doesn't reflect let's, what i'm saying let's but. let's let's come to this point to end it so so far we now find the woman is saying even inadvertently when you have found these things float you know falling on the ground meaning what even though you didn't come for me but still I can still get the guidance because that's not going to take away from the, your meal. Even if you came for these people, it is not going to diminish their guidance by me being guided Taking as well. Some of, some of the crumbs. Because it's the crumbs. At that point, Jesus realized. That's how I you know, understand it. After all of this, this woman is so persistent. A believer. And a believer. believer that this man can heal her daughter. He says, okay. This is what he says. Well, woman, great is your faith. Be it done for you as you desire. And her daughter was healed instantly. Now, does she then say, Oh, hallelujah, you my God. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not finished with it yet. Yeah, yeah. Does he continue and saying, Then she kneeled down and prostrated unto him and she worshipped him and says, Now I've realized you're God on earth. None of that. What does that the have to only do? thing, it's important. If he was God on earth, you know, she would have known who he is. What she realized, the daughter was healed, and that's the end of the story. The authors don't say anything else. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Anything else? Now you just completely ignore that the main part. part? Yeah, you're, why did she have so much faith? That is the that is the part I want to know. What? Faith in what? Jesus says, "Oh, you have yeah, much faith." Faith in what? Yeah, thank you. Faith in what? Yeah, I'm asking you. You seem to be the one explaining. You say the whole thing, which I knew. The thing I want to know what you you weren't going to say. You don't even. Did explain it come for everyone, by the way? That's not the point. I, I'm, that is the point. No, that is the point. We're trying it is, to make. It is yeah. the point. But I'm it trying to say, say the last part. Is that, okay, that's the last part. Say the last part. What did she have faith in? That Jesus is able to do what? Brother, let him speak. What did she have faith in Jesus? I'm listening to you. I'm, no, no, I'm not going to talk oh, now. So now I can talk. You are going oh, to answer. Oh, I can find you now, go and answer oh, from the great. context. So, what did she have faith so, in? What's good? No, you're telling me what did she have faith in? Basically. Yes. From the context. From the context, what he's trying to say. She had faith in what's called God, basically. She had faith in... Uh, context. Okay, you tell me what she had faith in. No, I'm not going to tell you. It's there no, already. No, 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 you tell me. Why did she have so much faith? Okay, what did she come here for? Because in fact, I'm actually, that's okay. why I actually came to ask you. Okay, why did she bring her daughter? So to that, be healed. So that, so that she can worship Jesus as God? No. No, that's so, not to do so with why to did she? So why did she bring her daughter? To who, be healed, yeah. To be healed. Right. So what does she have faith in? That this man is able to do what? But she already knew that Jesus please, could please, do miracles. Please, please, please. Look, understand the context. Hold on, let me say something. No, what? No, no, let me speak. Faith let this me woman speak, have? man, because you've been speaking the whole time. Let me speak. I will speak. Okay. Basically, I'm trying to say it is, what, it don't, doesn't make sense to me to say that she had faith because Jesus could do it. She knew about Jesus. Everyone knew about Jesus. That's why she Where came to Jesus. Where did he say she knew about Jesus? 
Why don't you finish your claim to Jesus? No, no, where does he says he know about Jesus? Well, why, don't bring anything outside no, the context. No, I'm not bringing it outside the context. But why, did she, the context. why did she come to Jesus? Hmm? Why did she come to Jesus? Shall I tell you? Why? why? She has heard there is a healer going around right. who is healing the sick, the lepers, the blind, the demon possessed. So she came with this faith because she, no one can heal her demon possessed daughter. So she's heard there's someone about the town right. who can heal. So she comes and she says, heal my daughter, because she has heard that this man has already so healed. If you, so if someone... Nothing but, about that she's God. Wait, hold on. I didn't say that. You just break that in. For what's called? So you're trying to say that if someone, you, uh, if someone was told, oh, so, someone has done many, many, many miracles, and then basically everyone you know knows and trusts this person, you're obviously going to go to that person and be like, you're, you're going to have that faith. It's not really that hard to not have that faith. And she came weeping so she could, you know, get her child, you know, to be healed. So I don't understand why, why you're saying it as if that doesn't, to me, that doesn't make sense to say that someone has, you know, strong, uh, basically strong faith, if you understand what I'm trying to say. What did she have faith in? She had faith in him, but why did... No, no, faith in him is what? Why did Jesus say that... You're missing she, the crucial point. Why did Jesus... The question is about faith, that right? She had um, great faith. Yes, faith in him as what? Why? No, that's not the point. My that point, is the point. That's not my point, though. That's your point. That is point. the point of this whole discussion I get in it, this but context. you're not answering my question. I'm Which saying that. Why does she have great faith? I have already explained to you, this man, as you read Matthew's Gospel, yeah. He's going around healing people. I understand that. Oh, days. Like you ask me to explain, a... and then you interrupt me saying I understand. I have to because it. you're not. Exp you're, you're not answering my question. I am explaining. Question. I haven't explained. There's a difference between continuous tense and past tense. And I heard you speak for the whole time about Excuse something me. I already knew, and you didn't. Then and you kind of cut you, off my, my Why don't you spare part? me by asking a question to explain them if you don't want me to explain? If you no. ask me to explain, and what I'm explaining... First of all, I never told you to explain the whole passage for me. I said to you, I understood this. I had to listen to you for about five minutes, explaining something. And what have you learned and so far? And I told you, and I already understood this. Story. What have you learned so far? I already understood. I haven't learned anything. I didn't say I haven't understood. Learned. What have you learned from this? So far, I haven't learned anything because I already knew about this. No, because I knew about okay. this. So what do you Learning know about this? Know about okay, you don't let's know. start again. What do you know from this whole Canaanite woman uh, event. What's your understanding? So, what is the understanding? I don't want to get to that because my point is I want to talk about the prayer part. No, but he's avoiding the question. Excuse me. No, but if we this clarify, is an event we described by... Brother, brother. This event is described by this author, right? So now, there's a man going around who's doing the miracles of healing. Yes. This woman comes along, uh, faith in what? I'm going to ask you now, faith in what? Faith in Jesus. As what? As God? No, I didn't say that. Right, so faith in what then? As she can heal his son. As he can heal. So be precise then. When Jesus says you have great faith, you have faith that I can heal. So I have been given the power right. to heal. So she has faith that this man is not an ordinary man. Okay? He is doing the healing. Then she will learn later that this man is an agent so of God. So many people got healed and then she heard about someone getting healed and everyone knows that he can heal. That somehow makes you have great faith. No, no, but if, that's exactly if, what if you're saying. If she has seen other people getting healed yeah. by this man, yeah. I has, she already, not, I has she already not I only built, built in the faith? Huh? If she's already noticed, I didn't say that though, so I'm asking you, that? you, if she has heard yes. and seen yeah. other people getting healed by this particular person, yeah. has she now already built up a faith on this person? Yes, she would have. Good. So that's why she comes along to this person and says, Heal my daughter. Did she come and to say, let me come and heal um, uh, and worship you because I know now that you're God? Ooh, why do you keep saying that? I didn't because quite... that is what Christians believe That's about not... him. I didn't say that though, so stop saying other Christians. Okay, do you believe, said, do you believe he was passage. God, walking around telling people he was God? No, I don't believe he right. said that. He what was he telling people who he was? The son of God, basically. Actually, no, I'm not even going to say that because I don't know for sure, so I'm not going to say things that I don't know very well. So, was he not telling who he was? Yeah, he said that he was the Messiah. He was the Messiah. Yeah. So Messiah is a human being, a creation of God, 
that will deliver the people from the oppression. No, but there's more to that, and I don't want to get into that because he talks. No, no, but first of all, no, because this is going to get out of the topic. Because first of all, Jesus was speaking in parables. He didn't come and exactly tell everyone what he was saying. I don't want to talk about this because it's going to get into a whole different big topic. Okay. So, so now, from this context, then, what you've understood, yes. even now or before, did he come for the whole world? At that, do you know what? I'm just going to say no at that point. Because at, no, at that point. He clearly says, I haven't come so, for anyone. So then when Jesus says here, yeah, after, um, near the end of Matthew, that he no, came no, that, to all nations. No, no, nation. that is something that is disputable oh, later. Oh, great. So, so we are talking about... That's a dispute, basically. Oh. Okay, so using logic. First no, no, all, wait, no, let me speak. So using logic, if that's a dispute, then Jesus only came for Israel. If not, then he came for the whole world. That's what we did have to say, hear, but we longed it out for the whole world. Did you thing. hear first, when my brother was saying, when Jesus was saying later on, go to the all the nations, all of the nations of Israel, the that. 12 nations. It doesn't say that. Now you're adding stuff. Man. So who was Jesus speaking with? He was speaking with his disciples. And who are they? The Jewish people. And how many nations they have? 12. The 12 princes. But you're just assuming stuff. I'm not assuming. Yes, you because are. From his own mission. First of all, he didn't say Israel. Second of all, look at the context. You're just assuming it Look at the that. context. What do you mean look at look the context? Look at the context? whole context. Oh. For his three no. years of his ministry. I'm not saying okay. to believe that. I challenge to you, my friend. Three years of his ministry. How many non-Jews has he given guidance to? Oh my days. This is why I said at the Excuse time me? he only came... Not at that time. During the whole of his ministry. Not at that event. Whole of this ministry. Yeah, gonna, his entire we're, ministry. We're going to have to disagree. We are Excuse me. To not agree disagree. disagree. For his because entire I, ministry. Because I already know where this is going to go. Excuse me. I already know for his entire go. ministry. How many non-Jews has he given guidance to? That's why Jesus says go to all nations. So basically, you're saying when you when God was on earth, He didn't tell people I came as a God to of all nations. He says, by the way, when I go, you can go and tell the other people. I'm about sorry, me. but it comes with an element. I'm of sorry. Faith. I'm sorry. Because I mean, you, you the context. Just... The context is not with you. It's with us. No. It's so not, it's you're, not. you're you're you you're totally to misunderstanding nah, 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 nah. the whole this of guy. the mission of Jesus Christ. Nah, what's going? I don't believe what you just said. That. Like he, that was actually a weak argument. Okay. Now tell me, why didn't he tell within the three years that he came for the only people? Hmm? For the three years of his entire ministry, why didn't he tell the people that he came? Didn't tell Hear my question. A lot of Hear my question. Hear my question. He didn't tell. He didn't no, tell. No. Okay, Hear my question. Why didn't he tell all the people that he came for all the people in his entire ministry? And why didn't he demonstrate that by actually doing this preaching and, and giving that? Because he only came for Israel at the time. I am saying for the entirety of ministry, yeah. if his mission was for whole of the world, yeah. when he was within his ministry, <coughs> preaching, guiding, yeah. why didn't he say it? And why didn't he demonstrate it by actually practically giving the guidance? Uh, well, first of all, Jesus' mission was only for Israel. The whole of his life was only for Israel. He then says to the disciples, what the disciples already know, to go out to the world. Because the disciples already know about Jesus and he talks about the Holy Spirit and other things which will guide them through. And they will go out to the whole world and proclaim what Jesus was talking about. You're repeating the same thing again. Yeah, and I'm repeating it because you don't you're understand. You're repeating something which is, and which is contextually, well. contextually meaningless. No, it's if, not. If a you did the same thing as well. My friend, okay, if a Canaanite woman came, no, if a Roman you're, came, you're, you're, if, a, if a Greek person came, yourself, oh would Jesus heal them and guide them? No, because no. at the time he only came. At which time, at, at which time did his mission finish? Huh? When did he change his mission? When did he change his mission? When did he change his mission? Uh, and you go now everywhere. Well, it depends on what you mean by change. Yeah. Because when did his mission now become extended to all nations? Because two things you need to understand about change. First of all, how did he change? It's a change on what Jesus did, telling the disciples to now go out to the world. When did he say that? And second of all, if it's a change, then you could say it was never a change. It was, it was Jesus' plan. When did he extend his mission? What do you mean when did he extend his mission? When he told the disciples. And when was that? Uh, when he uh, was called, when he was resurrected. Resurrected? Yeah. So during his lifetime, he didn't? No. Okay. Nice talking to you. May God guide you in closer and closer to the understanding of even your own text. And read the Quran, and he will guide you clearly. Make it sound like there's no such thing as miracles, huh? anyway. Uh, 